hi. John Han with the Pulsing Cinema and the Pulsing Cinema movie of the day. Oh, we, we got to treat The Deadly Spawn, 1983. Uh, released on video as Return of the Deadly Spawn or Return of the Earth's Deadly Spawn or something like that. I mean, yeah, that was a ridiculous title. I don't know if that was trying to, to, to make it appear to be a sequel to Aliens or Alien. Uh, or or what? Because I think I think it also was like Return of the Aliens, Deadly Spawn, right? I don't know. It was a ridiculous retitling. But in any case, the movie is is just one of those early '80s like old-fashioned cinemagic monster movies. You know, it's just an alien invasion film. An alien comes to Earth and like this comet. And he, uh, it, whatever, chews up a, a bunch of uh, campers, and then he settles, or it settles. It, I, I just like calling it a, a, it a, it a, an it a he, but I think it could be a she, or it's kind of, uh, you know, kind of, you know, it, it's 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 uh, it can reproduce asexually. So I guess you could call it a, a, a thing, an it, or whatever. But in any case, the alien thing, whatever, he, she, uh, secretes itself uh, in the basement of this uh, house, of this family, uh, and starts picking off the members of, of the family. And, and uh, also, as I said earlier, kind of it, it has little mini uh, things, little mini deadly spawns that it, it shoots out. Uh, and uh, they they scurry around the uh, the half uh, <laughs> damp uh, the 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 floor of the uh, the basement, which seems to be a little bit waterlogged. And there's some pools of water, and that these things swim. Really incredible. And uh, so, you know, and then they they go out into other other houses and cause some some mischief and mayhem. These little mini uh, deadly spawns. But the main deadly spawn. Uh, begins to terrorize the uh, <laughs> this particular group of teenagers, and it's up to the uh, little monster kid, the young kid with wearing the cape, uh, to save the day and and uh, vanquish the the evil alien deadly spawn. Cool, cool movie. I mean, the deadly spawn uh, to begin with is it's like this alien version of a hydra. It just has multiple heads. That are just like uh, <laughs> they're delivery mechanisms for teeth. They're just a head with just teeth and rows of teeth, and so you've got these things. And it's kind of it's kind of like a demented version of Audrey Two from Little Shop of Horrors. Yeah, I mean it's just like teeth and alien stuff, and it's just such a creative and original design. It encompasses what we've seen before with aliens, but it's not. It doesn't look like a guy in a suit, you know. It looks some some something close to a puppet, but it's just so original and so cool uh, that it just stands out. And the film, otherwise, I mean, it's just as I said, like an early '80s horror sci-fi film. It it got a lot of play in Cinemagic. There were a couple articles in Cinemagic. Cinemagic was a a do-it-yourself movie-making magazine for young kids, yeah, usually teenagers and young kids, uh, in the late 70s and early 80s. Uh, and Don Doler, a famous uh, independent B-movie filmmaker, uh, he, he was one of the main people behind that. And, uh, you know, it was just young kids, you know, getting involved in sci-fi fantasy film, Star Trek... Uh, Star Wars, and it was just this. This magazine was kind of a meeting place for people before the internet. There was Cinemagic, where you could trade stories about making films. You could write stories about makeup and special effects and how to write a script and all this stuff. And there were a number of articles about uh, the Deadly Spawn. There was one article that that focused on some of the gore effects, the makeup effects. Specifically, there was this this effect where uh, they, uh, the, the lead effects guy on the film, John Dodds, made this fake head of this woman. And they described, you know, in, in very specific detail how he made the skin, where he got the eyes, and from a taxidermy supply, I believe, and all of this other stuff. And, and then I think there was another issue which went into the making of the, the alien, the monster, which I did not, I've not read yet. 
I didn't get that one uh, as a kid. But in any, in any case, yeah, it was this this film kind of came out of that, and it and it felt like kind of a do-it-yourself film. But the monster was very accomplished. I mean, the creature just looks like an A film special effect. It just looks great. It looks so much better than the rest of the film that surrounds it. The move the movie is about the monster. Okay, the film itself. Is kind of boring and it, and it's plodding and and there there are places where it really drags, and you know, I get the feeling that the direct, the, the director, uh, I think his name was Doug McEwen, uh, even on the commentary track, you get the idea that he doesn't really understand this movie is about the fucking deadly spawn. Okay, anytime we do not see the deadly spawn, anytime there is like I understand building up suspense keeping the deadly spawn in the shadows until okay now he pops out surprise in the beginning of the film he does that beautifully you know the deadly spawn is in the basement and people are going in the basement and then there is this scene where the kid is is you know comes face to face with the deadly spawn and you think oh my god this kid is you know toast but then you know, obviously he's not toast because this is toward the the beginning of the film. And also the kid is kind of like he believes in monsters. He's a young monster kid. He's wearing the cape. He's got all the stuff in his bedroom. He's that cliche. He's like Tommy in, in, uh, in Friday the 13th final chapter. You know, he is initiated into the world of monsters. He's still, you know, a young kid. He still has that sense of wonder. So, of course, he is the one that can... Uh, can destroy the the monster because he's the really only he's the, he's really only one that believes in it. You know he's got a lot of magic tricks up his, up his sleeve and what have you. And uh, but after that, after the film, you know there there is there is when, with the stuff with the teenagers and the house and it, it's just kind of plodding and every, and and, and at, you know you get to the point in the film where you just want we want the you want the monster to eat all these people. It's obvious the monster cannot can only do certain things. Can only be seen from certain angles, and again, I think that that is a problem with the direction because it's just it needs a director who understands. Okay, this movie is about the monster and how we see the monster and how the monster looks, and I think he does a, a good job of that. But there could he could have done a great job if you know, and he he complains in the document in the commentary rather that uh, he the, the John Dodds the guy who designed the monster shot all these additional scenes with the monster and took kind of the 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 producer Ted A Bohus who who was you know kind of did other B movie films and John Dodds and they kind of got together and and kind of took the the film out of the director's hands and shot all these additional scenes and stuff and he's like bitching and moaning about that and it's like dude it's the whole fucking point is the monster okay we don't care about these teenagers. This this movie would be a forgettable film if you didn't have John Dodd's monster. The film would not be released on fucking Synapse DVD. It would be like some you know Don Doler like Galaxy Invader or something. If it was like it was like a fucking guy in a suit, it'd be Galaxy Invader. It's it's the Deadly Spawn, you know. It's it's about that fucking monster and that original design. And I don't think people give that. That design, I mean, the film was just so obscure until uh, until it was re-released on DVD a few years ago in the early 2000s by Synapse Films. Beautiful DVD release with a great foil cover, all kinds of special features, uh, remastered picture. Recently, it was re-released on Blu-ray by Elite Entertainment, and and there. And it, it's gotten mixed reviews that Blu-ray. Many people are disappointed with the picture quality and actually find the picture quality of the DVD to be on par with the Blu-ray. So that that original DVD is still an excellent release and something that you can check out. And also, the soundtrack has been re uh, re-released on uh, on vinyl. So there you go. I got my I got my hipster my hipster vinyl with the the cover art with the teeth. So there it is, The Deadly Spawn, a great film. Watch out for it. The, the movie, not The Deadly Spawn, because The Deadly Spawn's, of course, fake.